All right, guys, come on down to Herbal Ammo. We are open for business. Oh, and it looks like we have our first customer. Is this Herbal Ammo? Uh, yes, it is. Nice to meet you. Hey, nice shirt. Wow. Nice. You can find one in the description. Description? What the heck is that? It doesn't matter. Anyway, I'm looking for some gluten-free ammo. Is this is this gluten-free? Uh, no, that's actually, yeah, that's full of meat. Don't, don't even touch that. Uh, these ones, though, these might be right up your alley. These say gluten-free right on the box. Did you write that, though? Uh, or is that from the factory? No, uh, yeah, that's from the factory. Yep. It's Just weird, don't look at it. Weird placement. How much? Sure. How much is that going to be? I know gluten free is a lot of money. Yeah, they're going to cost you extra. We got to pull the gluten out of it. So, uh, you got anything to trade? Uh, no. Just going to buy it outright. Okay. Well, that'll be uh, ninety dollars. Ninety dollars? It, it says gluten free, doesn't it? It does. All right, that's a deal. It's a bargain. All right. Hey guys, welcome to Revolver Roundup. We're back. It's been a while, but we did all that other running around for you up to Charter. Uh, just a quick little thought on Charter, guys. We had a good time. Nick's a really good dude. Everybody that worked there was very nice, and it was a really good trip, a good company. We were really impressed with how they do everything. And uh, But, yeah, anyway, if you could, guys, check out Revolve Roundup Shorts on YouTube. We made a whole shorts channel. And, uh, you know, subscribe and all that if you so wish. Also, uh, check out Revolve Around Up Facebook if you have that. Um, we're just trying to get the name out there a little more, bring more Revolver uh, people in. And then lastly, but not leastly, is check out the new shirts. Look at that. I know you guys have seen it in the charter video, but this is like the first official showing it off, and it turned out great. Shout out to my lovely wife who designed the whole thing. And uh, show them yours. Oh, we'll take a look. Oh, man. Look at that. I like the color, too. Yep, there's a bunch of colors. Now, anyway. Enough of me. Enough of you. <laughs> anyway, uh, guys, check out our channel sponsors. Uh, Charter Arm 1791, Matt's Bullets, Shoot Steel, Five Star Speed Loaders, and... Um, did we say charter already? Charter arms again. Yeah, anyway. What we're going to be doing today, guys, is we got a cool one for you. We're testing out gluten-free ammo, believe it or not. He, cameraman assured me he did not write that on there, and that's from the factory. Yep. So, but anyway, this is 158 grain semi-wog cutter hollow point. And if you guys know, this is the old FBI round. It's plus P. It claims to be doing 890 feet per second at a very a very respectable 280 foot-pounds. We have, for our test guns, a 2-inch Alpha, 2.5-inch 686, 3-inch Magpug, which you guys have seen and we showed off, a 4-inch Python, and then a one, one we don't get to see much, but one of my favorites, a 6-inch 586. And then um, what we're gonna do, guys, is after we do all our testing, whatever one of these comes closest to 890, we will set up our water and do a test to see if it expands. So that's what we're doing, guys. So anyway, let us get right to it, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, so let's get into it. This is the round in question, by the way. That's a semi wad cutter, if you don't know. It has that uh, lip where there's a flat shelf, and then it tapers back up into a bullet-esque bullet shape. I don't know. It's a semi wide cutter. And it's a hollow point. And it's federal plus B. Gluten-free. Gluten-free. All right, so first we'll start off with the alpha. And uh, let's see what we get. That's a lot of feet. That's a lot of feet. Accurate. Button chops, what do you have to say? I don't get it. The one said 891. It did, yeah. That Let's one was up. Let's back up. pretty accurate. Okay, I don't think there's any way we'll get a false reading from here. Can't see the chronograph though. Hey, there 
you go. At least one of them. Let's see what we got. 851. There we go. Oh, that's better. I don't know Let's why see. we're so far away though. Huh. We got extra bullets too, guys, so that's good. Here's our paperweight. Very nice paperweight. 814. 1691, man, they're moving hot. That's a that's good ammo, man. Yeah. 51 we wrote. 814 again. 2600. Man. man. That's like a 556. Five, yeah. More like 223. 851. So that's 814. 897. Get three reads? Oh, okay. Even that seems like. All right, let's do three more. All right, guys, we're going to do three more. Because I want to see if we can get this the right way. Where we were, something like that. All right, hopefully, this works. Eight thirty one. There we go. Eight thirty. 802. That's more like it. That makes sense. I'm happy. Well, actually. Very accurate, you know. Actually, I would have been really happy if it was doing 2,700, but. That would be pretty sweet. Yep. Uh, average of 825. Extreme of 49. Standard of 16. Not terrible. Yeah, no. Right. Paper weight back in order. Okay, guys, next up, two and a half inch. Now we figured it out, guys. 845, 8.29, 8.27, 8.23, 8.27. 798. We're only doing five, but we put one in there just in case one didn't read. 834 average, so that's good. That's a touch more. 61. Well, that 798 was in there, so that brought the average down, you know. Yeah, it did. 20. All right, guys, we're on to the next. Next up. We listened. A true three inch. It's the mag pug guys. Let's see what we get. In case you guys were wondering, uh, the recoil is not bad. It's very, ooh, very manageable. 862. 
853. It's a lot better of a deviation there. Of course, we're missing one. Didn't read? Yeah, didn't read one of them. Sorry. Oh, man. Thirty-four. Good writing there. Average, eight fifty-one. What was it on the box, cameraman? Uh, ooh, thirty-one. Eight ninety. I think you're right. Eleven. Not bad. Next up. Fan favorite. What's the fan favorite? The fan favorite? The python. The python. <laughs> All right. In the comments section, I want you to put our pythons better than GP100s. And don't lie. Don't lie. Just to keep mutton chops from feeling bad, just tell the truth. <laughs> I guess shot that real fast. Pretty smooth. Smooth indeed. Nine forty-two. Woo! I think that's right. Nine forty-two. It's a little high. It seems awfully high. We only went up one inch. Well, read it. They read it. So that's pretty high. They're all up there. Does seem that way, doesn't it? Yeah, I'd accept it for now. Okay, guys, so pythons are just better, I I guess. Yeah, better than alphas. It's Especially better than Smith & Wesson's. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nine oh nine, eight ninety two, eight seventy four. Oh, never mind. Sorry, average nine ten. Stream, 69, standard, 25. All right, next up, mutton chops, personal favorite. The L-frame series of guns. And this is a 80, 1989 586, and this actually is the correct finish. They did a couple years where they did a matte black finish so hmm. alrighty better beat the colt that felt like a cap gun alrighty 890. Mm -mm. 900 on the dot on the money 
21 extreme standard eight that win that did win in the standard did pretty darn good okay so might have won overall all right guys we'll be right back with the foot pounds and also picking which one we think is probably going to be the best representative of that ammo to what it says on the box to see if it works at the speed on the box that was a lot of words to say little all right we'll be right back all right guys so we got with the two inch 239 foot pounds with an average of two 225 feet per second 825 825 feet per second with the smith and weston two and a half inch we got an average of 834 foot pounds of 244 with the three inch charter we got an average of 851 foot pounds of 254. The four inch python, we had a very strange thing where the speeds were up high, so that has something to do with the rifling. 910 with the average 291 foot pounds, so almost 300 foot pounds. And the six inch was closest at 900, 284. The box says 890 and 280. So six inch was closest. That's what we're going to use on the water test. But first off, does it work for saving a hostage? Freeze! It worked. All right. You told that hostage. <laughs> All right. So here we go. Hopefully it stops. Whoa. Here's the bullet. Staring at us. No way. I think it stopped it. What? We're getting pretty good at CGI, man. Mm -hmm. I would say that is a success. <laughs> look at that. And look what it did. That was something else. Jeez. This one leaking? Yeah, it's leaking. It bounced into that. It's not leaking. Okay, Did so, it come out here? What is happening? <laughs> I am confused. How did that bullet come back? Did it go in? Hit, it it then... must have bounced right back out. Was this part of it? Look, that's that's leaking. What the heck? How did that leak? This is strange. That bounced back. I would say it hit the steel, but the bullet would be really jacked up if it hit the steel. Yeah, that was a pretty sweet shot that just happened. I wonder if I... Try this. There you go. Try that out. I think that was a success, guys, but we'll try this one more time. Oh, bad guys wear shirts. Well, That's true. Not always. Mostly. Alright. Alright, let's see if this works. That one might have hit the steel because that hit low. That sounded like it, I'll tell you that. Yeah. That went all the way through. Yeah, all the way out. All right. So, that first one worked because if it hit the steel from doing these experiments. Maybe you, there? Yeah, from doing these experiments before. If you hit steel with a lead bullet, they deform pretty bad. That is... <laughs> that did not hit steel. That's perfect. Wow. So, what do I think? Well, if you are reaching... Nine hundred feet per second at that, it works. So, yeah. Lower recoil than 357, 
the FBI used it for a very long time and they always said it was a very good round. Fun fact, the plus P stands for plus purse. But the, it works really well. And um, yeah, anything else? You wanna try and group it? Let's do it. Actually, I know you guys like the Python, but this shot it the most consistently, so. And we have a table, guys, so I'm gonna use a table. Even though I can group these pretty well off hand, but might as well uh, really try to get the most out of this. And I'll even do this for you. All right, guys. Well, it's been fun. Pretty good. One, two, three, four, five. So, pretty good. We appreciate you watching. And uh, summer shoot. That's coming up. Don't forget. Don't forget. It's a month away. Don't forget. First of the day, Titus 3-5. Have a good one, guys. We'll see you.